On Wednesday, Staten Island Borough President James Otto joined CSI President Dr. William J. Fritz and the team at Northwell Health to announce a groundbreaking initiative that will provide mental health support services to College of Staten Island students. In 2018, uh, I read this book, The Coddling of the American Mind, and uh, it opened my eyes to the sharply growing prevalence of anxiety and depression on college campuses across the country. And in November of 2019, before COVID, we brought together at Borough Hall Dr. Brader, Dr. Fritz, his two colleagues, the presidents of the other two colleges on Staten Island. And they told us, Dr. Fritz and his colleagues told us that with Greg and Jonathan wrote about in this book was playing out here on Staten Island, on these campuses. And we agreed at that point to work together to figure out how we could bring Dr. Brader and her work to Staten Island and incorporate it on a campus on Staten Island. If you ask college presidents about issues facing their students, mental health is at, at the top of the list of, of things that they worry about. Uh, so I knew when, uh, when um, Borough President Otto contacted the college about an opportunity to partner with Northwell Health to provide additional mental support for students, that it was a serious offer. In our strategic uh, priorities that guide the direction of the college, student success is listed as the first priority. And partnerships like this help us meet our commitment to provide students with supportive services that they need to adjust to college and to thrive. A key figure in the initiative was Isaac Gorodetsky, Policy Director for the Borough President's Office. We're hoping that this is a, a model for Staten Island and perhaps even nationally for how you can launch a preventative program that equips students with the skills to be able to deal with all of these really serious mental health challenges that they face on top of all of the academic challenges they already face here. Northwell Health's AVP for College Mental Health, Dr. Laura Brader, was equally excited about the partnership. How exciting is it to be able to prevent decompensation or depression and anxiety or to be able to make a first year college student's emotional um, readiness even better? For some reason, we just, there, there's, there's a stigma that doesn't recognize mental health as being a health issue like any other uh, health issue. And, uh, you know, that's really why it's so important that we stress this, uh, you know, for our students, for our community, for our family members, uh, for everyone. And all the partnership is expected to be another great step in mental health programming at the College of Staten Island. And I'm very proud of the fact of, that we have built collaborations like this time and time again. And the social science, the neuroscience, and Annie Murphy Hall does a phenomenal job of saying today, now more than ever, given the complexity of the world, brain-bound, individual brain-bound efforts won't cut it. You have to extend your mind in various ways. And included in that is by um, working in groups, working with peers, to get the best answer possible. I think that's what we've done uh, with this program today. Be sure to follow CSI News all year long at www.csitoday.com.